Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Jen and Christian's with me uh, and uh, this is Creep Show and I know we are a day late on our Creep Show thing but we were at the theater seeing was... Michael. We had a previous engagement with a gentleman named Michael Myers and so we were at the theater the night this one premiered so we're just basically getting back on the pony. Okay, yeah, Ponies. By, by the way guys, what'd you all think? Like I know people are starting to see it. What'd you all think? You love Loving Michael, you hating Michael. I'm hearing, I'm hearing both sides yeah, of the fence. Yeah, I guess that. Anyway, creep show. Creep show. So, uh, episode uh, four. Yes, of, episode four, of, season, of season three. three. were very interesting. Our first episode is A Stranger Sings, correct? Yep, Stranger Sings is our first segment. Um, it's I, okay. I actually kind of liked it, and I think we're really leaning into um, um, like, like, women's, like, 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 because we get woman-splaining, and we, and basically, it's not a succubus. I thought we were going with a succubus. It's a siren. It's a siren, but it's not a mermaid siren. It's a Greek siren, which I like. A bird siren, and basically they use their singing voices to lure men to do whatever they want and then they cannibalistically eat yeah, them. Yeah, but like little a thing, cannibal. Little thing about this siren is she's luring a doctor because her and her friend need a doctor for a procedure doctor, that doctor. you'll have to watch the episode to find out. Um, only problem is they get a gynecologist instead of like a actual like doctor of what they need. They don't need a gynecologist. Though. No, they, 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 suffice. they need it for a voice box and an old switcheroo. And um, this one really out of, I know I've said this with a few other episodes, but this one really felt like one of the more zanier episodes of Tells from the Crypt. It's, um, it's fun. And um, I like this one. Like, like we, it's kind of a sweet one. It's kind of a love story. It's about lonely um, people because the gynecologist is a divorcee and he's, you know, and that's very easily, you know, men are susceptible after they've been dumped by a woman. Yeah. Women too, I'm not just saying men, but I liked how this episode handled the whole men-women dynamic thing. I really enjoyed it that. I enjoyed that a lot, and it's just kind of fun. It's very tongue-in-cheek. It's it's very light on the horror. This one is more of a winking at the camera kind of one, and it's cool. Um, There's not too much. We can't delve too deeply into this episode, because if we do, there's not that much meat on this episode. I, I, it's cute, but there's not that much meat. Like, this is the first time, I think, ever with a creepy show segment where I'm just sitting here like uh, I can give you my review of this episode in like one or two words of basically I was sitting there at the end of this going okay what was the point of this? I kind of um, liked, liked it, but I was like, okay. I was literally like, literally as we were as the like comic strip was pulling up for the next segment, I was literally like. Um, what was that? What was the what was the reason for that one? Also like also like the last the first one feels very like feels like weirdly shorter. Like it feels like like a lot shorter than uh, the other segments have. I did season. notice that too. Like I, it just kind of is like what like instantly done basically, which is not bad, but like it 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 it, it felt to me, I don't know why, it just something about this when I was just like, okay, I, it's fine. I, it feels it feels like an okay. It feels like the most okay segment from like a more comedic uh, anthology film. Like I get like you know like it kind of gets that vibe. You know what this one reminds me? I believe it was in the in the in the one of the earlier uh, seasons of Creep Show. Uh, the football episode. You know where they remember that? Oh yeah, the that, zombie apocalypse football that had a, one. That, that had kind of a comedic tone and stuff. I like. I this forgot one. about that segment. I, yeah, I, like, I like this, this one, one better, better, but it kind of you get what I mean. It kind of has the same. Yeah. Yeah, in, yeah, in some I, of the same I can, way. I can, I can see and it was that a one. shorter episode if I want to remember I, I can right. see that one. This one's fine uh, for my rating. It's like a neutral. It's not bad. It's the most inoffensive and it's one of those ones like, yeah, it's just kind of a filler segment for the series, honestly. It's one I'm, if it wasn't made, I wouldn't be like fucking breaking into tears at the loss of it. But I'm not like pissed that it exists either. It's not bad. It's just kind of, it's just kind of okay. It's just kind of one of those ones like hey. if you're binge watching this, like through the season, you're just going to be going like, Okay. What's next? I, I I liked it. For me, I, I liked it a little more than Christian, but it didn't wow me either. Um, but I definitely got a play on wi and like how women are kind of on top and, and you know, let me woman explain. I noticed that. And then there's another part where oh, I, any woman could have gotten this pathetic loser and stuff. I like that because, you that know, we, fun, we like... get a lot we, we see that a lot and I don't mean to make this about men and women, but we do see that a lot about guys doing that to women. Oh, yeah. Not so much now, but it still happens. Yeah, so would... it's kind of nice to see the tables turned yeah, a little I, bit. I liked all 
of those elements of it. It just, I was just sitting there like, I was just sitting there at the end of the segment. I was like, okay. They just kind of, like, it just kind of ends super abruptly. Like, I felt like we needed, like, five more minutes or some, like, an extra thing going on. Because, like, anybody who's seen the segment, tell me if you did, weren't, like, when a, th when, the thing ha when a thing happens, to like, at the end of the segment with, like, what, with our Siren character, you're like, um, okay, that's a thing that kind of feels weirdly out of character for you. Okay, sure. But, like, I don't hate this. I mean, um, I really like, uh, when somebody dies in the segment, I like that the, they, like, shatter into, and their, fl like, flesh is, like, porcelain, basically. It, it, maybe it's just because we just watched Company of Wolves and they do something similar in that. Like, I like that, and underneath was a skeleton. I thought that was kind of a cool aesthetic, but otherwise, that's, like, literally the only thing. Even our creature design is, like, it's okay, but I've seen cooler creature designs from the series, so. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a perfect It's design. okay. It's a perfectly fine episode, but I, I don't think it's going to piss you off, but it's not going to completely wow you either, but it's a fun little, it's a fun little nugget, but it's nothing that's going to, it's nothing that's going to wow you. Our second episode is called Meter Reader, and I... Um, okay, uh, I was sitting here by the... Joe Lynch directed Yeah, it, Joe Lynch way. directed this one, um, and it was written by Joe Esposito again, who uh, did one of the segments previous in the season. I'm very tired. I was up editing that Halloween Kills video till 5 o'clock in the morning, so I'm a little off. If I'm a little off today, that's why. Um, but I, kind of like the last one, I was sitting here at the end of this going, okay, this would be a cool, like, 12-issue comic series I would read, but as a segment of an anthology series, this is kind of bad. I didn't think it was bad. I, I, I don't know which episode I liked more. Usually, with every epi every week, there's one episode I like a little bit more the than the other. The one. Um, the, but I don't know. It. With this with this, with this this two uh, epi segments from this week, I don't know which one I like better. I like elements of this one. I think it's kind of cool. We get kind of, uh, it's an apocalyptic kind of still, and we really do get a heavy, uh, exorcist vibe you know like with the it's it's a there's a there's a plague going around and it kind of makes people and they they kind of question is it demonic or is it science you know is, is that yeah basically like if i can it, basically the pitch of this one is like fucking what if covid was like demons instead of like an airborne pathogen virus you know like which that. is a very timely yeah, which, topic yeah it's topical i can definitely there's definitely points without being like overly ham-fisted like you know you get like joe lynch gives his point across very clearly in his opinion about the whole thing but while like still shading it and fucking and his tongue is very firmly planted in his chink with it you yeah know? i get that but and you will get a very heavy at least i did a very oh, yes, heavy exercise yeah especially and, and in the opening it's not a rip off exactly but it's definitely an homage um and i liked our our, our one of our he's not a main character but he should i, I kind of wish bring we out your him. head I mean, not that i, oh. I like the guy that actually does the the oh, whole yeah, like, testing to see kind of basically he's like the priest in the exorcist all he does to see how far along you are and if you're so far along you ain't got no help hope i really like that guy we kind of we follow him for a little while and then we focus on his family it's pretty fine but my problem with this one is there was no surprises in this and I'm not saying that that's what Creep Show's all about. A lot of some of my favorite episodes are pretty, pretty for, simple. for, for Look at like Monkey's Paw from season one. Yeah, but this one seemed especially so. Yeah. And I just kind of like there was nothing I could really grab onto. And I I liked uh, I we when we follow his family, they're fine. The actors are good, but I was like I kept expecting something a little bit a little bit more meat. I guess I'm gonna say that I actually preferred Stranger Things better, even though I, art, uh, 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 stylistically I enjoyed this episode more. Ooh. It's kind of oh, a weird thing, okay, but I think I, I enjoyed the story more of Stranger Things. I get that one. Like, this is definitely, like, um, for me, Meter Reader is definitely a case of, like, I wish Joe Lynch had a bit bigger of a budget to do with this one, because, like, it, I don't know, this might have not bugged you at all, but, like, every time that we have a scene outside, like, you, you're, I get what he was going for. He's going this, like, desperate wasteland. The sky's, like, red and horrible. But what it actually is is just kind of a phone filter, and everything just kind of looks cheap. It looked it looked like an asylum movie. This whole segment, I think that's my issue with it. Even on the effects level, like the practicals and stuff, which are fine, but like every this whole segment gave me like 
fucking asylum vibes. It felt like if they tried to do like a Mad Max movie <laughs> style movie mixed with a like a COVID film or something. Like, I just it's weird that it's, you say that because I actually thought it was style. I thought it was actually really pretty to look at. Maybe I'm was, just it was okay. It just, I'm it just was, not as sophisticated as you are. But no, I, no, I, I just I liked it and I kind of got like even though this it's more of an apocalyptic film. I also kind of got the, an old west kind of vibe. Oh, definitely. You know, yeah. it, with on the motorcycle and I liked our one actor that was actually that uh, like the priest. Lead, yeah. yeah, he wasn't a priest. Yeah, he even says that in the in the show. I'm not a priest, but that's kind of in my mind what he was too. And I liked when we were following him. When we followed his family, it kind of lost me. And the ending is there's no pop at the ending. There's I'm not to say that there's much of a pop with Stranger Things, but I kind of could go with that one a little bit better than this one. I like I like I like meter readers for its style, and I like the heads. I like the heads because there's a whole thing where you have to cut off your heads, and the trash man comes and gets your heads. It's kind of mm. cool. It's kind of a cool thing but neither episode if i'm going to be honest wowed me they're not terrible yeah. they're fine they're 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 kind of mad this this week was the both episodes were kind of mad if you put a gun in my head i would definitely say stranger things was probably my favorite but i did it's, it's even though christian didn't i kind of enjoyed the stylistic part of of meter readers i liked I what it was going for i just didn't and i like, liked our one actor I, I liked what it was going for i just didn't like its overall execution it just looked really cheap for me which can work but creep show has this creep show has this the series has a really great uh, element of like l making it being super stylistically cheap uh like kind of like the old 50s ec horror comics whereas this one just looked modern cheap it just didn't have any real style to it there was it was trying to be style but it didn't have the budget to do that style uh and like i said i kind of was just sitting there going this Okay, this would I would probably read and really enjoy like a twelve issue mini series of co like a comic run of this store, a like version of this story, expanding on some stuff and doing some cool world building. This is a neat world. I like this idea, but it as, just didn't but, quite go but as a fifteen minute uh, anthology series segment, uh, I didn't like it honestly. It's it, but this one's like it's a neutral as well because there's nothing egregiously terrible in it like Queen Bee, but I just was like. Eh, okay. It's that both episodes, both segments are just kind of like okay. Which one do you like better? I guess Stranger uh, Things. I, yeah, I guess Stranger Things, but I not didn't, wild I, by I, that yeah, one either. Yeah, both of them are just kind of okay. Well, They're both like five out of tens, perfect new, neutral middle ground for me. They're not offensive and they're not egregious. I'm just like, eh, I didn't really, I couldn't, I, I wasn't into them, honestly. Maybe again, it's because I'm very sleep deprived, but it just, they didn't work for me. Well, they can't all be winners, but still, these are worth checking out. They're not the best of the episodes. I think they'll probably be low when we do our ranking, but they weren't awful to watch either. They were perfectly fine, but maybe next week we'll get a little bit more wows. These ones didn't quite pop as some of the previous episodes episodes, but you can't always have winners. Even in the best of shows, there are some that are a little bit more mediocre to subpar. Yeah. These aren't subpar. They're just kind of mediocre, they're which makes it hard to talk yeah. about. Um, but that's all we have to say about Creep Show Episode 4, Season 3. And more importantly, guys, leave comments down below and let us know what you guys thought of this episode. Maybe maybe we're in yeah, the Maybe I'm weird and like, these are super beloved and everyone's loving the hell out of these. Which I are... think everyone... Maybe they put the mediocre because they know everyone one this week is too busy with Halloween so they thought why bother we're gonna just put these they're not bad we're just gonna put our middle rate things because this week everybody is consumed with fucking Michael Myers and Halloween kills that's my that's what it's gonna be in my head Ken and they're like guys let's just get our less than the best ones because no one's gonna be watching this week all the assholes it's all about Michael 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 and I think that's what I, that's in my head Ken and I think that's what they're doing so um, maybe next week the buzz will kind of die down and maybe they'll put on their Sunday best for or Thursday best for next week. Who knows? Fingers crossed, guys. Who's Fingers crossed. And with all that out of the way, booze and ghouls, we thank you so much for watching. As always, uh, we hope you're enjoying our 31 days of Halloween. And and like I said, I know I keep saying this, guys, but enjoy it. We're kind of getting about to the halfway point of October. October. It's today is the 15th. Today you're watching this is the 16th. You're literally at the halfway month way mark of the of the month and it only comes but once a yeah. year so so really enjoy it go take a fall walk go do something with your kids go do a bonfire go go to the cinema and watch halloween carve a pumpkin go do a corn maze a haunted house watch some scary movies of course really telling these uh, our, our audience to watch yeah. scary movies isn't like a big thing because we do that all year round but you know maybe pick some ha halloween autumn themed kind of horror movies for the month but do some stuff enjoy 
the thing. Go outside, enjoy nature, feel that hopefully it's kind of cool where you guys are. It is at least at night where we are. So, you know, if, you, if you're lucky enough to be cold enough to put on a hoodie, snuggle up in a hoodie, enjoy the fucking season because it does become once a year. And time goes fast, guys. Time goes quick. So with all that out of the way, we thank you so much for watching. And if you're new around here and you do happen to enjoy the contents of this channel, please hit that subscriber button because we do appreciate every subscriber we get. And with that, we wish you a good day, a good evening, and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. 31 uh, days of Halloween rolls on, and we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye. Cheers.